Welcome, welcome back to my channel. As you know, my name is Ronald. This is my software journal. And today we're gonna to be going over how to demo like a pro your work in general as a developer. Typically, this is something that a BA would typically do, but sometimes we have situations where you might be in a startup and you might actually demo this in front of a customer firsthand. So, and also you might have to demo this internally with the, you know, with the internal team. Typically a BA does that stuff, but I'm gonna just go over how I, you know, typically demo and the best framework to, you know, get your point across and be able to tell a story as you going through demoing your your work so the first bit of every single thing that you need to do with a demo is pretty much before you demo anything and just go over the purpose behind this story so the purpose is the most important part people need to have particular context before they actually see any work that's got done in a particular sprint or in a particular release that you're you know putting this out so if you go over you know just a quick overview of what the story is about the purpose behind it it's going to give them context as you you know go through it then step number two mention the acs sometimes you got acs really drawn out so try to paraphrase these acs so you can get straight to the point and get straight to the demo you don't want to spend too much time on here but you do want to mention it because you're also going to mention them again when you demo on your story. Then, number three, you actually start demoing your work. This is where you're going to be, you know, going over the functionality step by step as you logged in as a particular user or a particular persona. And, you know, you go over the particular functionality that you implemented. You'll mention the ACs as you go through, you know, demoing your work. Say, hey, this is, you know, meeting AC one, one two, three, as you demoing your work to the internal team or the customer. All right, that's pretty much it for that piece. Then we're gonna get into the last step, which is handling questions. And there's two ways you can go about this. So when questions get sent to you and you know, then that's great. Then you can, you know, go straight to the point of, you know, answering that question. For the sake of brevity and everything, you wanna make sure you wanna get straight to the point, be direct with your answers because you don't wanna like draw it out too much. That's gonna be a really important step because you know, you you, you want to get to the next part. You want to get to someone else's questions because there might be other questions. So as long as you, you know, be very direct and be very concise with, you know, giving your answer out, and then that'd be all great. I should have mentioned this in the previous step when demoing your work. You can also like get questions in regards to certain edge cases. So edge cases in which have you thought about this particular edge case when you're implementing this work? And then this is a great chance to kind of like circle back. If you did get a chance to actually handle that edge case, you can circle back and say, yeah, I actually did that edge case. It's, um, it's been input into the story and it's gonna be pushed in this particular release. So it's gonna be a great chance to, you know, look back and say, yes, oh yeah, I completely forgot. You're exactly right. This is how I implement that in order to handle that particular edge case. Then you got number two of, you know, handling questions. So this is when you don't know. And essentially one of the most famous and most useful phrases in the tech and the software community is, I don't know. Actually, let me take that as an action item and find an answer to your question. This accomplishes two things. One thing it accomplishes is it gives you more time to find an answer because I mean, you, you don't wanna really be looking for an answer as you're you know, answering a question. You wanna keep the demo going and go to the next question and just you know have a nice flow with it. If you're trying to find an answer to that question as you demo, and it's like, hey, let me go in the back end really quick. You know, you can be you know spending time actually answering another question. Number two, this increases your credibility because people know that you're not going to just appease them for you know saying yes in the moment, and it gives them reassurance that you will be able to follow up with them again. And you know, it's just icing on the top when you follow up with someone because it makes it known that you you know took their you know feedback into consideration and you actually thought about it when you actually follow up with them. And that's pretty much the end of this video. This is the way.